What's up guys? It has been a minute since I last uploaded a video, but as I did mention in the previous, I have moved to Vietnam, so I've been busy getting adjusted. But on my travels out here and during a visit from my parents, we did stumble across a vending machine dispensing mystery boxes. And well, that was too much of a temptation to miss, so after conning my parents out of the huge 100,000 Vietnamese dong, <clears throat> $4, well, we just had to see what was in the box. PCB Way is the best in the biz for its quick and fast circuit board turnaround, PCB assembly, and amazing customer service. But did you know that they also offer laser cutting, 3D printing, and CNC machining? Follow the link in the description to learn more and earn $5 off your first order when you sign up at PCB Way. Welcome to JCR Acoustics, a channel where we design, develop and make all kinds of audio hardware and well, everything else for that matter. So if you like building things and seeing how things work, get subscribed and check out some of our other content. But without further ado, let's get to the thing that you came here for. What's inside? The mystery box. The moment is finally here. Lucky box. I won't try and butcher the language by saying whatever's on the box, but I'm assuming it says lucky box. Let's see what we've got. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Well, it's a giant bright yellow AirPod. It's a Bluetooth speaker. I already knew it was a Bluetooth speaker. We had to open it whilst we were there. We couldn't wait that long. And my parents needed to know what they were gonna give away before they gave it away. Maybe they wanted to keep it. And for whatever reason, they didn't want a giant Pikachu yellow Bluetooth speaker with, wow, there's actually quite a lot of connectivity on this. We've got USB. Maybe that's to charge your phone. Who knows, we'll have to test it. An SD card slot, wow. Wow, I don't know who's uploading music to SD cards these days, but it's cool, it's got it. It's got its mini USB charging. It even came with a cable. I mean, that that's your $4 right there, bam. Uh, instructions in what I believe to be Chinese. Okay, we'll put that to the side for now and let's focus on this big boy, all right? Um, in terms of buttons, play, pause, music up, down, track, forward, back. Mode, I'm guessing to switch between different modes here. Power on. Oh, is that a base reflex port? Maybe they've gone all out on designing this. Maybe this has got the most banging bass that a Bluetooth speaker's ever had. I don't know. I mean, this is JCR Acoustics. We make our own Bluetooth speakers, so it can't be as good as that. There's no way. I think on the actual AirPods, this is like a, a sensor to check it's in your ear. I think it's just a grill sticker. Why are we still talking? Let's fire it up. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, I have my phone on the table. I'm firing it up. Okay, a blue LED came on. Bluetooth mode. It's connected. It's called BT speaker. No issues. We know what it is. Let's play some music some copyright free music let's not make that mistake again do, 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 do. funnily enough copyright music isn't the top of my spotify list first thing i'm noticing it's very directional all the sound is coming out of here look here's my microphone Okay, bass. It's actually pushing some air there. Look at that. Distortion. For four dollars, I'm impressed. I mean, it's not amazing, but I'm impressed. You could take this to the park and there would be worse speakers at the park. Let's see how loud we can go. It's struggling a bit now. What surprises me though is the bass port is pretty well designed. Like if you put your ear to it, you can you can hear the bass notes. It's um it's kind of lost with the tones, the mids being so loud and a bit distorted, but hey, four dollars, you cannot complain. It looks awesome. Who else has a giant that who else has this? 
No. I feel we need to test some of the other functions. Let's... I don't have an SD card. We can't test the other functions, but I'm sure it works, right? Now I've got to test, test the charging. I've got to find something. We've got to try and test the charging. So I've got my Kindle. Okay. I've got the included USB-C. No, sorry. USB mini charging cable. Okay, we're back. We're back in 2006 or whenever it was. It is not charging. So I don't know what the... Oh, maybe same as the SD card. Maybe it's sharing the pins with the SD card. You can put a USB stick in here and just start jamming some tunes. Hey, I mean, we had mixtapes back in the past. Why not just bring back the USB stick? Bam, put it in, mixtape, boom, let's go. Who needs Bluetooth? It's not needed. Well, you know what's gotta happen now. We gotta take this thing apart and see what $4 worth of components gets you. I mean, I'm already amazed. Included charging cable, cool design, Pikachu yellow. Wait, is that a microphone? Let's find out. I wonder if this is one of the prizes where they lose money or if they're breaking even on this. I don't I don't really know how something like this, how cheap you can get it. I feel like $4 would be a push. Let's price it apart carefully. I'm wondering if this little, yeah, that's coming out. Oh, hot glue. That's my beautiful base port seal gone. It will never sound the same again. Oh, there we go. There's one half. Okay. Look at this. Okay, here's our driver. It's pretty meaty. Spoken like a true acoustic professional. Looks pretty meaty. Mm. We've got a lithium iron battery. Okay, kind of hot glued in place. Maybe 1200 milliamp hours, something like that. Maybe, it, who knows, it looks a little bit expanded. Safety first, safety first, that's all. That's what the people need. Okay, let's remove the BCD. Bit of hot glue holding that on. Oh, nice. There's actually quite a lot of tooling that's gone into this. They are, there's, this has to be one of the ones they lose money on. So you've got the buttons that go to the tactile switches on the PCB. Uh, you've got this part of the case, the second part of the case, the slide switch. It's got its own piece of plastic there. And it's a pretty cool design. It's kind of, the reason it's directional is you've got the driver facing out of the grill here. But then for the base on the rear side of the driver, you've got this whole thing acting as like a base reflex port. And there might even be an element of cooling there as well as it pushes the air down and through the chamber. It might be cooling down the PCB. So yeah, it's a pretty cool design, pretty unique. And hey, $4, as I say, you cannot go wrong. 100,000 Vietnamese dong. All right, let's put it back together and, uh, and we'll use it, I guess. So there you have it. That is what 100,000 Vietnamese dong can get you from a mystery box vending machine, a giant yellow AirPod themed Bluetooth speaker. Honestly, the best value for money my parents have probably ever had. So if you enjoyed this kind of video, please get subscribed and check out some of my other content. But until next time, keep designing, keep making, and keep on creating. Wow, what is it? It's a giant headphone. It's a Bluetooth speaker in the shape of a giant headphone. Well, you have got a giant Bluetooth speaker. You happy about your purchase, though? <laughs>